Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to part 9 of my full platinum walkthrough for Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. We are picking up exactly where we left off, as always, so we spoke to whoever's on the other side of that wall. And now we're going to go all the way up to the top of Sen Pao, Sen Po Temple, that one, the word that's on the title. <laughs> uh, as you try and leave somebody, the, the girl, boy, uh, whoever it is, I don't actually know, um... We'll speak to you again, it will actually stop you. And then we just go quickly go around here, get some Gaijin sugar. We're actually going to use some of this uh, soon for one of the bosses. Uh, there's a few bosses in this video, you can see it is a longer video. We're going to do the whole run uh, of this, this temple run, as it were, all the way up. So we're going to go all the way around there, all the way, all the way up to the top uh, in one go. So there's bosses along the way. It's a good one, this one. Uh, there is... the. Two main bosses of this bit are actually more puzzle than boss. They're actually very easy. Uh, scrap iron, so lots of a um, couple of scrap iron there. Uh, this guy you can talk to and just kind of... He's not important, honestly. He's going to ask for a pinwheel, a white pinwheel. Uh, so you can ask why is he crying and he gets a white pinwheel. We're not going to do his quest, but if you do want to carry it on, then I will show you where the pinwheels are. We will be picking them up. We can come back and give him them. Uh, there's a guy here, just lock on, drop down. He's the only one down here, so don't worry. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to come back here later on. I'm just gonna kill this one over here, little rat guy. We're gonna be using something we're actually gonna get at the end of this video. It's called Puppeteer. It's, uh, a, a ninjutsu, a different one. Uh, I think it's quite self-explanatory. Puppeteer, so basically when you backstab somebody like that, uh, you will control them in a way or they'll do stuff for you uh, up here you might have black hat badger here if he sh I'm actually surprised he's not here I think it's because I've not gone and talked to him we don't actually need him again once we've bought the two major things that he has for sale we don't actually need him again if he is there fine if not doesn't matter we're not going to be using him again so I'm just going to go up here keep it keep it quiet and then there's one here. There's quite a few monks around here. Uh, so, yeah, I know it's, it's not... It's a bit horrible killing uh, peaceful-looking monks, but uh, that's what we're going to do. Uh, yeah, there's ones with spears and there's ones without. Obviously, the ones with spears are going to be more difficult. There's three down here. We're just working our way down so we don't have any interruptions. There's quite a few on the other side of the building. So, yeah, the ones without are pretty straightforward. You can actually just push through with your sword and you'll... Uh, You'll take care of them. Hide behind this tree. You can see there's two groups. There's one to the left and one to the right. Uh, if you just hide behind this tree and move forward slightly, uh, you'll get the ones to move. And that's what we're going to do. So have firecrackers ready because it's just going to help if you get swamped. Uh, but we're going to use the ninjutsu that is going to make the cloud of uh, blood. It says smoke. It's actually blood, isn't it? Uh, you can see it, how good it is, basically. You know, to trigger it once and then find the next guy and then trigger it again and then that's going to stun this next guy and then do it again there shouldn't be anyone near you but yeah you can just keep going um well not keep going i think it had one more use in it but yeah um it's so good for uh, stealth so keep it stealthy here there's quite a lot of them uh, the main reason i'm doing this is there's a few items we want to grab and XP really money and XP so stick to the left hand side we're going to be able to, going to be able to get to the top uninterrupted really so there's a few things pacifying agent pellets now a bit of a waiting game you can see there's two at the top they're the ones we want to kill uh, these guys are going to turn around they do sort of get clumped on each other a bit if you're feeling adventurous then sure just run in and go for it <laughs> there are quite a few spear guys so probably not uh, definitely want to kill the top two first so just that's where we're going up there uh, so we could just make a run for it and zip up there and then that'll be it but there is some stuff we want to get here so it's uh, a couple of coin purses things like that in case you're behind on money you may need it at this point uh, with regards to fully upgrading one of the uh, the paths we'll be doing that in this video getting a trophy as well uh, you're going to want to be doing that in this video if possible 
Uh, again, use the farming at the top of the castle. If you do need more XP. Yeah, go for that one. The other one shouldn't see you, weirdly. <laughs> but, yeah. Now you can, if you want to, just leave these to walk. They're going to walk all the way down to the bottom. And you can just kind of pick where the uh, items are. I'm going to target the ones with the spear. So there's one with a spear. I've got one use of the ninjutsu in me. So get the other spear guy with that as well. And uh, try not to get kicked to, get, kicked to death by the others. Don't forget you're invincible when you uh, do an execution like that. Yeah, you should be able to push through them pretty easily. They do damage. Bring them to hoover everything up. And now we are clear to run around and grab everything. Coin purse up here. There's Aiko Sugar on the top, uh, near the top of the stairs here. And then most of the stuff is off to the right hand side. So yes, it wasn't essential killing them, but we got some stuff from them. <laughs> XP, etc. So down here there's going to be three antidote powder and a light coin purse. And then most importantly, really, is the heavy coin purse that is up top here. So nice, 500. And now we'll leave after our path of destruction. Just looking out for yellow glints in the distance in case I've missed anything. So shurikens can help here. There's lots of crickets. They seem to be quite docile though. They don't really... Yeah, they're just kind of wandering around. So if you can use your sword, because you're probably not going to have much in the way of uh, spirit emblems now after using the ninjutsu so many times. Yeah, but they're not really doing anything. But uh, we don't want them to bother us as we go down here. So do clear them out. There's a few on the stairs. Just be careful on the stairs. There's going to be a monk walking from... There he is, from right to left. Keep it stealthy now. Well, apart from that. <laughs> yeah, stick to this wall here. We don't need to literally stick to it. We'll just stay here. He's going to turn around. We'll get a stealth kill on him. And you can see there's three other monks lined up there. There's actually a giant... I don't actually know the name of them. The heavies, whatever you want to call them. He's behind that temple thing. You can't actually see him. So once you start killing these, he's going to appear. I'm going to save my... I'm not going to start using the ninjutsu. Do not grab that item yet. Just get everyone killed first. Everyone deaded. So he has seen me. I think, yeah, he's starting to see me now. I tried to hide. It wasn't happening. That's fine. We'll let him come into the middle see for an easier fight. We've done a few of these now. But if you do get the chance, then you can stealth kill him. If you really want to, you can jump out the, wind, uh, out the window to the left and diagro. You're not going to drop down. It's just there's ground literally outside the window. It's the delay. It's that hop, hop, hop <laughs> delay <laughs> that makes these uh, a bit trickier than most. remembering to use the uh, the sword art as it were l1 r1 you can change that we do have another one if you want to change that of course feel free to do that whenever behind is a lump of fat wax and in front is a gourd seed as soon as you pick the gourd seed up this thing's going to start throwing crickets up uh, you can't kill them at this point anyway so don't bother just grab the gourd seed and get the hell out that's why we waited speak to the old woman here she's going to tell you about i think it's a, yeah the uh, serpents we don't need to bother with her she will say about rice we will get the rice but we're not going to come back and give it her right a, another stealthy type section so stay high for now get in the trees this tall tree we're going to be using later on uh so you where we backstab that rat guy there was a kite in the distance uh, we're basically going to puppeteer him to use that kite, which will connect the top of this big tree to a new area. That made no sense, probably, but it will when we do it. So just grab the coin purse off there, and then jump on the building over the other side. And keep it stealth. And there's another one off to the right there. 
so there are some tricky enemies a couple of them in this area and we do just want to isolate and stealth kill them we don't want to fight them top of the stairs is where they are there's a couple uh where is he i think he's off to the left hand side there is one so keep it low Ooh, he shouldn't see you if you do get too close he might start getting uh, warned of your presence now i'm actually going to do something i've not done before and that is use some ceramic whatever the hell it's called i forget what it's called now ceramic dish what is it ceramic shard and just throw it at this guy to get his attention because I don't want that guy on the stairs to be bothering us. So it does have a use as much as I've been saying it's useless. It does have a very niche use. You're not going to use it too often, but it can help. So there's two on the left hand side of those stairs basically opposite where we are now there's two other normal guys you don't actually want to come up here you want to jump up the stairs behind him just and be quick here because the one behind him will see you so be quick and backstab him the one at the top of the stairs will probably have seen you by this point you i think you get a heavy coin purse from the first one so hopefully you get that as well it's a good reason to kill these guys so yeah you can see the other ones drop down now um I'm just trying to go around this building and hope he diagros, goes into a, a warning phase. But he doesn't. He's quite keen. Where is he? There he is. So, <laughs> I'm playing hide and seek. Uh, yeah. Go up high. It's going to be the best thing to do. Get on the roof. And then duck down. You can fight these ones. They're, they're not bad. They're just more of an annoyance. They are. They're not... They're not as bad as some of the enemies we've we've come up against. Definitely more than one though. You you're gonna struggle. So yeah, keep it quiet once he's uh, diagroed a bit, and then go for the stealth kill. It's the easier option. So do watch out when you look over the top. While in yellow, they are hyper aware, so they will see you quite easily. Now, if another guy did turn up for you, that's because you. Uh, alerted the ones to the, the left of the stairs. I didn't this time, but I have done it in the past. So go up the stairs is the best way to get rid of them, although you can use ninjutsu if you want to. Ninjutsu doesn't work from a elevated position, so you can't like jump down here and do it. You need to properly backstab them. Yeah, go for the one with the shield, obviously. He's going to be the more difficult of the two. And just uh, power through that one. And that is this area clear. So we will be going across there later on. We've got to cross a bridge further up, which is where the uh, the first boss is. Uh, I think, yeah, I switched to the axe here. We will need the axe. I thought, I, yeah, I was a bit ahead of myself. We will need the axe next time we go in a different cave. That's why I did that. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually, I don't know why I'm creeping <laughs> still. I know I'm safe at this point. Uh, right, we're going to do some sort of clean up. You should have a bit of money available at this point. Uh, if not, make a note of what I'm going to purchase shortly. Yeah, I think I've come to the wrong place. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't want to come here at all. I wanted to go to Ashna Outskirts and then to the stairway, so where the Chained Ogre was. And there's this, uh, this merchant down here, the peddler. We're going to buy the Phantom Kunai from him. It's very expensive. It's 3,000. Uh, you should have a bit of cash on you. If you're really struggling for cash at this point, then, then just do remember, write this down and come back and get this as soon as you can, really just so it's out of the way and we can forget about it. Uh, what it is, is uh, an upgrade. It's it's one of the materials needed to upgrade one of the uh, the weapons, the tools that we have. So uh, we do need it. It's a one-off thing. So yeah, I do need 3,000. So we're getting close there. Yeah, so this is why I always like to keep that hard cash. So you can just 
cash it in as you need it and you don't have to worry about it. It's worth that 10% tax, honestly. So that's all we need from him now. And now we can leave. And we'll go back to, to the temple now. No, we won't. <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> See, that's where I was going. Yes, we need to come up here first and give her the seed. This is where I got confused. Is she's moved. That's why I went to the temple first. Realised, oh no, she's up at the tower now. In the castle. So give her the seed and then we can use this new shortcut we have. Which is not really as quick. It's about the same as teleporting, to be honest. And we're at the temple. So I'm just seeing what upgrades we have at this point. Uh, if you do have some spare money again, then uh, then do so. But it was the uh, the Phantom Kunai that we got. So do have a look around if there are any you, uh, you want to get, then do so. Uh, but what I'm going to get now is the trophy for Master of the Arts. This is for finishing one of the uh, skill trees. Well, getting to the end of it. Not finishing it, but getting to the end. Getting that last one. I have enough now. So I'll get the trophy Master of the Arts. Now you want to finish a skill tree uh, by the end of this video, really. Uh, so you should be able to do it. Again, use the farming place that I showed at the top of the castle. Uh, the antechamber. Where you can just go around and backstab all those guys quickly. Uh, it's a good place to do it. And then once you're done with that, like you don't need to do that now. But if you really are lacking behind, then, uh, then think about doing it soon. But we're going to go back to where we were, where we left off. In the Senpu Temple, Senpao Temple. Jumped across and uh, just going to see this merchant. Now he sells, she sells, he she <laughs> Seashells, whatever. Uh, many things. Coin purses. A uh, lot of bulging one for a start as well, which is a good one. Um, but what we wanted to buy there was just a single persimmon because we need it. Uh, we will be picking one up later. I just want to make sure that you definitely have one though, in case you miss this other one coming up. Because we do need to give that to somebody later on. So that's all we need from him. And then we'll jump. This is where the, the cave I thought. So have your axe ready because uh, a rat's going to drop down. Where are you? There you are. No, it didn't go through again. There, that time it did. And then jump across the gap. Pull yourself across. There's another one here. Just get a little stealth kill here. The other one has seen me, so just crouch if he does, because we'll go back and stealth kill him as well. God, they're horrible looking things, those, aren't they? <laughs> right, there's one more on a very narrow path up here, but what you can do is just ledge hang here. And make your way around. He won't see you. And you can uh, stealth kill him. And then it's on to our first boss fight of this video. Which is a uh, a mini boss really. And it is the first puzzle type boss as well. He is, as it says there, armoured warrior. Uh, he cannot be killed in the traditional way. You need to push him off a ledge essentially. Because he is that heavily armoured. So we're going to make our way up, jump, jump, hold square to grab. And then pull yourself up here and across. And then just throw in a backup save. If you are able to do so, then, uh, then do that now before you go into this bridge. Because it just makes things easier. We've travelled quite a ways. And uh, yeah, it honestly just makes things easier if you can do it. So all you really need is to know what you need to do. You, there's nothing you particularly need. The axe can help a bit. 
as can firecrackers, but you can that was weird. It did get the, you saw that then that uh, his his bar did go up, his yellow bar did go up, his posture. But I didn't actually do the animation, which was strange. But what you wanted to get him to do is smash out a window. There we have two now. And then either way, just get get him to smash one out. Or two or three or four. And then you want his back to the window. So bring him back over. And this will do. And then you can go in, take him down, or try and take him down there. Nice axe, pushed him back. And then when you do get that death blow, you just push him off the edge. Like so, and he will shout for Robert. Very simple puzzle type thing, uh, fight that. Uh, yeah, you can't kill him, he'll just keep getting back. Yeah, the death blow to know him normally will not finish him off. You do need to push him off the edge. You'll get a prayer bead and the breath of nature shadow, which helps with death blow uh, posture bar and things like that. And that was the first one, simple enough, really. Some scrap magnetite. And then we're going to carry on up shortly. Uh, before that, I'm just going to go and um, yeah, open up a new area, basically, that we will come back to at some point. So do try and finish off one of these paths. You should have got some XP from that fight there. Another, If you've got some more to carry on now, the Ichimonji, I think it's called, is a good, uh, a good move to have. It's a powerful move. So if you're wondering what to get next, then, uh, then you can get that. Or you can get... I like to have more um, spirit emblems, honestly. I like to have a lot of those available, so I do upgrade, th upgrade those early. So I'm going back across to the original side. This is where the red and white pinwheel is. And that's you give that to that, that guy that was crying at the start. I believe if you give him the red and white one, he you can tell him to go to the dungeon, you know, where we sent that other guy and got the three lumps of fat wax. You can do that with him. But uh, we're not gonna, I'm just not going to bother with him at all, to be honest. So jumping across. And then here, jump and then hold square. So you grab onto the ledge and then turn around and pull yourself across using that branch. And there's a sort of heavy coin purse. So the, yeah, there's a few reasons I'm coming this way now is that uh, there is an idol here, so we can do that, and we will come back here later on. But also there are two heavy coin purses, so if you are behind, then that's going to help. Two geckos will drop down. You can either use your shurikens or stab them. I didn't want to do that really, but they will throw acid out, so do it fairly quickly, and then uh, we'll jump up to the top here. And this is where the white pinwheel is. That's the one he actually wants, and will carry on his uh, his quest line. There's a yeah, gecko here. You don't actually need to go up the ramps and everything. You can just jump onto this tree. And onto this one, it avoids everything. And then here's going to be some monkey boos and another heavy coin purse. The monkey boos is you give it to certain NPCs, and you can carry on conversations. Not something you need to bother with, to be honest. Uh, as you come through here, there's going to be new enemy type. They are giraffes, centipede. I don't. They've got silly names. <laughs> anyway, they're fairly easy. Just rush them. Don't let. Don't give them an opening. Just go straight in and uh, kill them as quickly as possible. And pick up the black gun powder. There's only one in here. Now there is a boss, a mini boss through there, which we is one of the headless bosses. They are quite tough, bit of a pain really. Do not ring this bell. Do not ring that. That makes the game harder. If you've done Dark Souls 2, there's a similar thing where you make the game harder uh, and you get more XP and it's good for farming basically. Now when we do come to farm later on, we will ring that to uh, to make sure that we get more uh, as much as we can from the farming. But for now, uh, we'll just leave and go back to the idol where we left off. Now there is a little bit of a break there, because I was going to leave the video here, but then I thought, no, we can get up this this quite quickly, so uh, we'll do a bit of an extended video this time, and get the whole thing done in one. There's a cat here that I'm going to have to let out, so I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Not that you would have noticed. <laughs> the cat is out. 
yeah, a bit of a tenuous link here, but moving from cat to wolf, I suppose. Uh, that's why we're on the, the rooftop here. There's a few wolves, uh, so just shoot them with the shuriken so you don't have to deal with them all at once. Again, I know it's not nice killing them, but... Yeah, if you've played Souls games, then getting your own back on these easy-to-kill wolves is kind of satisfying in a way. <laughs> I know it's still terrible. Animal murder. Right, over the top here, there's going to be two treasure carps, which we've not done for a while. So you can see one moves and one does not. Wait for the one that's moving to get to the one that does not, <laughs> basically. Don't let it see you, though. Uh, if they do disappear, uh, that's not too much of a problem. Just jump out, pull yourself back out, and, uh, and then come back in and get them afterwards. Uh, but yes, you'll be able to get both of them once they're together. Just jump in and start slashing and you'll get both of them. Uh, treasure Carp uh, scaled times two there. I can't <laughs> get across. If you can't do this either, get on the land. You should be able to jump. There we go. So stick to the... There's quite a few enemies here, so do stick to the left-hand side of this building. Uh, keep low. You can systematically kill all of these people without alerting anyone. Weirdly, I know. So get this one first. Even though there's two guys overlooking... It's full of ash, yes, I'm not even going to mention that. There's one behind this tree. You've got two options, you can just pull yourself up if you're able to reach it, or just jump like that. This one next. The ones with the hoods on throw fireball type things at you, so that's not nice. And then that one, just two more left. I don't know what happened then. I was moving a bit too quick, I think. And uh, there we go. And then hoover everything up. We will go up there shortly. First, though, we're going to go back down here and drop off the edge here, and then we're going to be dealing with some monkeys. So you can see them there. They are will drop on you if you go the other way. So we're going to take them out first. Uh, you can use ninjutsu, but the monkeys, honestly, are really easy to kill. So... You can just swipe away. There is another one there. There he is. So hoover all that up. And then we're going to carry on by dropping down even further. So look for the ledge. And then right about where I am to the... Yeah, about right about where I am now. Look to the right. And there's the big guy. I went a little bit too far. You should be able to just lock on and jump on top of him. Uh, there is a monkey now. <laughs> I don't know where he came from. Get rid of that as well. Lots of stuff to grab around here. We've got a, uh, a few Mibu Balloon of Spirit. If you use those, uh, there's this persimmon which I uh, mentioned earlier on. We did buy one, but in case uh, you get redundancy, basically, <laughs> you make sure you have one. Heavy coin purse, and that's the bridge that we uh, were on the other side of before. And then we're going to make our way up. So you can make your way down this way, but you'll get a load of monkeys dropping on you. Uh, pretty much like uh, that's about to happen now. There's one here. He's simple enough. Yeah, so when you pick this up, the monkey will drop on you. I did know this, but I thought I'd already killed him. <laughs> but I guess not. No, get off the wolf. I was locked under the wolf there. So yeah, there's a couple of wolves up at the top as well. Need a bit of healing there. We'll save the gods for now. Okay, that's this area cleared. And a random guy just... Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what's happened to him. He's done that weird... From software spawning in and collapsing ragdoll physics type thing. So really, really important item. I was just going to leave this. I was going to say I'll just leave this one. But no, I do think it's a very important item that we must come and get down here. Ceramic shards. All the way around there. You think it's going to be something good? You found a secret? No, of course not. Right, new next boss fight. So jump onto this pagoda. I want to say, are they, is that what they're called? Anyway, make a backup save if you're able to do so. This one's not difficult uh, if you know what you're doing. So we're going to drop in and we're going to 
uh, pull ourselves to the uh, beam here. Now this one here that just climbed up should not climb up. It should just be two of them here. So you should be able to stealth, stealth kill both of them. The one in the middle here is not usually here. There's usually the one I've just killed and the one on the opposite side. And you can wait for the other one to just path away like that, pull yourself across, stealth kill him. But I do have this one now, annoyingly. He shouldn't be here. The boss is underneath, so don't drop down if this happens to you as well. You're just going to have to go for it. They do have that weird backup. They'll back up with the fire there. So try not to get too burned doing this. That was not how it's supposed to go. Anyway, they should diagro. There we go. Let's turn back around. Go for the boss. You're going to get one of his, uh, his health nodes down. Now, this boss is very quick, but also very easy. Uh, firecrackers are very good and he will come at you with a huge flurry of attacks and the best thing to do really is tap L1 quite quickly to uh, to cancel them. Uh, I think it's if you can if you block parry his last one so when he does this just keep pressing L1. There's a bit of a delay on the last one. Uh, if you do get the last one he will do a uh, kanji attack. I forget the name. Just jump on, jump over the top, keep hitting him and just keep going on. And when he attacks, just go crazy with the blocking, and you should be able to get him down pretty quickly. And that is that fight. It looks a lot worse than it is, but honestly, just spamming the L1 is going to hit deflect most of the attacks that he does. And then, uh, yeah, when he does his uh, his red attack, just jump over the top, uh, get a few hits in, or jump on him almost, and get a few hits in. And yeah, it's quite quick quite easy so now we're going to uh, jump across there's another two of the small ones and we'll carry on so we did get a prayer bead there as well I'm trying to think of the guy's name from Street Fighter who has the same weapons <laughs> Vega is it Vega it's Vega isn't it let's call him Vega this is gonna be a couple of geckos up here Nicely camouflage. A lot of wolves. Uh, honestly, if you don't want a Mibu Balloon of Spirit, you can just leave these, but uh, just spam the shuriken, really. <laughs> and just a single gecko, which is a little bit weird, but there you go. It's quite satisfying to uh, take them all down like that, though. Right, moving up. Stay to the right. Um, behind this rock you want to hide because he's right there for me. He's not usually that quick uh, But there's gonna be a monk a really really slow one There are some more enemies behind him, but you should be okay doing that. Ah, <laughs> he turned around a bit too quickly there yeah, There's a couple more that walk and there's a big one as well You should be able to get the two smaller ones without alerting the big guy if you just wait on this branch and wait for them to go back down the stairs a bit because the, the big guy's up at the rock there's a rock at the top of these stairs, he's hiding behind that we'll be able to stealth kill him you can always run away, don't forget you can always just run away and let enemies diagro. so he's not been alerted I would actually go on the left hand side of the rock, it's going to be easier. There may be some enemies on the stairs to the left, so do watch out for those as well. Uh, another one of these big guys with a shield. Uh, if he do get engaged, if he does engage you should I say, then uh, the axe will cut through the shield. A couple of uses. Postman's here now, back in a minute. <laughs> and we're back. Right. <laughs> Interruptions like mad today. Okay, we're going to kill a few, there's a few rats on this rooftop. Uh, there's only one thing we're really here for, uh, so watching this video you can just go straight for the item if you want, but uh, thinning out these enemies is going to be a good idea, really. There's a couple over this one. There they are. And there's one on the other side. There's one in the middle, on the floor. And then there's another one. Yeah, I completely missed him. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I wonder why. Yeah, completely messes the uh, sequencing up there. 
So there's one on the roof before I jumped down. He was right there. I don't know how I missed him. But to my right hand side was another one. Another rat on the roof. A rat on the roof. Yeah, get him. Then jump down and get the rat on the floor. And then come up and get these two. They shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, you should be able to stealth kill, stealth kill both of them if you're not alerted. That was terrible. I don't know how I missed him. I knew he was there. I was looking for him as well. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to do this a bit slower now. So he's still going to see me on this side. Yeah, he's going to miss though. Oh, close. Yeah, that'll do. Right, and there's a bunch of monks inside the building. Uh, what we're going for is the lump of fat wax in the middle, which is directly ahead of me now on the ground floor. Uh, there is an enemy there that is pretty dangerous, to be honest. Uh, so that's why I kind of wanted to isolate him and leave him alone. He doesn't move, so we can't chase you. And he won't activate until you grab the item, but uh, it can be quite dangerous. Now, the monks are obviously quite straightforward. I'm just going to run away in Diagro. This was a real balls up, wasn't it? <laughs> Okay, I think we're good. Are we good? Where's the rat? The rat is the main problem here. Yeah, these monks you can take up pretty straightforward. There is one with a spear, which doesn't come after me for some reason. They're pretty nifty with the kicks, but... Uh, Ultimately, a fist is no good against a sword when you're trying to block it. So there is one with a speared, a speared, spear, which didn't aggro, which is good for me. And then we have the enemy in the middle, which is one of those ones you can't kill. Well, you can kill it, but it won't die, if that makes sense. And it has a big long centipede that comes out of it. And that thing has a hell of a reach on it and does quite a lot of damage. So just grab the lump of fat wax, grab this coin purse, and get out. If you wanted to know... What you need is to grab without killing everything. It's just those two. Uh, we do not have the means of killing those ones on the floor yet. No, he saw me. So there is a, a guy with a shield up here. Um, so I'm going to let him diagro. Try and get round. Come on, remember where you're supposed to go. Jesus. <sighs> Give me a moment. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, you, I'm trying, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is definitely embarrassing. Okay, there we go, grab on, Jesus. Okay, rat, shouldn't be a problem, just get the axe out and uh, smash his hat. That one actually went first time. Okay, now we have the big guy with the shield and there is a little one following, a monk following him. Uh, you're going to see me... <laughs> frantically change, try and change the lock as I jump through the air, but it just wasn't working. It did not change. Uh, but I was trying to lock onto the big guy and get the stealth kill on him because obviously that makes more sense. But it was not working. It was not having it at all. So I'm locked. I'm trying to... It does switch at the last minute, but I'd already locked in the... Uh, the death blow on that one, which is not a problem. You can axe him twice. And that was <laughs> pretty cool animation, actually. It's worth doing, I suppose. What the hell? And go sugar there. He should. I think he does give you that scrap. And then if you can, without having to go all the way around, jump back up here. And kill this guy. Okay. Let us continue. So there's one at the top of the stairs. He is facing away, so that's not going to be a problem. Now, we do have some annoying enemies coming up. Annoying. The way they're set out is annoying more than anything. So just rush these two. One of them is going to start throwing fireballs, but if you're able to get the uh, 
there. It's like a... Yeah, it's weird, like a missile. And get rid of these two. They're not the problem. The problem is these ones with that... Nope, not you either. You're not a problem. The ones with the straw hats further down the other side. Those ones there. So they are back to back. So that, that one is looking at me and the other one is looking away. So I'm going to just try and isolate them. So yeah, that's the one we want. So I threw a shuriken to get his attention. He's the one that was facing towards us, which is good. So you can run across the rooftop here and he's not going to follow you. He's going to stop about there. I'm, you're going to see a bit of a fade here. I did move too soon, so I've just come back onto the roof. Um, he's going to start walking away. And on this corner, this is what happened. He will sort of turn around a bit first and then slowly go around the corner eventually. So do watch out that he doesn't see you. Come on, go around that corner. Yeah, we're just going to go for it there. He's moving on now. So once he does that, chase after him in a slow, quiet way and get that backstab because two of these together is not fun. Now there is a third one that comes around the corner. Uh, if your timing is in your favour, then he will not do what he's about to do now. Uh, I could have waited, but I just didn't want to. I thought I was going to get away with it, but no, he did see me. But uh, yeah, we will actually engage this one properly. only because this doesn't work. So he's run off again, which is fine. He's, he's lost me, which is good. That's what I wanted. And then a, a bit of a weird situation happens here. He becomes alerted. I, I have no idea how. I presume because of the dead body. And then turns around just at the worst time possible. So they do that attack mainly is what they do. They do a slam, which is quite easy to parry, which is quite slow. But they, they just have a huge amount of health and uh, posture, so they are quite annoying more than anything. But they will keep jumping over the top of you. Uh, hopefully you got the timing better than I did and you, was able, you were able to just backstab him, because that makes things a lot easier. They're just annoying, especially if there's more than one. But this one we wanted to kill because he's going to give you a bulging coin purse, which is very handy. And do not jump over there, there's just nothing over there. <laughs> okay, so we are clear now. Ignore that to the left for now. We're just going to run into this main building. And we are going to use the idol. We're not going to rest. You don't need to rest uh, if you're doing quite well on health. If you are really low on uh, on health and things like that, then do rest. But uh, we're going to use our prayer beads. Give us that fourth one. Don't interact with anything else in this room, by the way, because it will take you to a boss fight, which we are not ready for just yet. Well, we're ready, but we don't want to go to it just yet. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get some more spirit emblems. I'm able to carry more at this point, which is good. Uh, ultimately, it's down to you if you what you want to upgrade now. You can just have a mess about. Uh, or follow along which ones I get. I'm going to go for Spirit Emblems and then probably Healing from the Healing God because it's basic, uh, kind of beginner stuff. It's going to help uh, having more Spirit Emblems in a boss fight is good, as is more healing. So we're going to go for that over Technique stuff because we're doing quite well on that now. So we're doing a quick detour here before the boss. So there's quite a few of these little, I think they're called giraffes. I want to say giraffes or zebras. Neither of the two makes sense. So, yeah, just rush them. Honestly, don't wait for them to start spitting the fire. Kite round them and just run and attack. And now we're going to duck through here. And there's one here waiting to pounce down. We're not going to let him. Shouldn't be anyone below. And then look for the water. Where is it? There it is. We're going to go through the water. Make sure you have just double checking. There was no one else. 
I think there's the item here is the Mibu Balloon of Spirit, which, yeah. I'm not going to use. Probably should. It's just one of those things you always forget about, even though I'm picking so many of them up. There's quite a few of them up here. There's four, I think. So just run in. It, it sounds like it's dangerous, but honestly, it's the best thing to do. Three or four of them up here. I think it's actually three. They are so weak, it's just run into them. Should be able to get one or two of them down pretty quickly and just leave one. Or two. Uh, this guy here, uh, we will come back to. He's important, but not right now. He's also dead, so he'll wait. But uh, up here is what we for, uh, come up for. It's a Senpo, Senpao esoteric text, which is another load of skills which is great. <laughs> we do need them all for a trophy, obviously, all the texts, but uh, and all the skills, unfortunately. So that means more XP needed on our part. So, uh, yep, yeah, that's where we came up. Now we're just going to jump back across. Get ready to grab on as you jump. And we are back at the door to the temple. So there are a few of these ones that don't die around here that will start spewing crickets and what have you all over the place. So you can just grab these pellets if you want. Uh, resting here will uh, refresh everything. And obviously um, we want to do that now because we're going to go into a boss shortly. The boss fight we're about to do is a puzzle. It's not dangerous. It's like a tiny bit dangerous. But apart from that, it's a, it's a puzzle. But before we touch the... Basically, there's a table over there. Once you touch that, you'll get taken into the boss fight. We're just going to come over here, get that bundled Jizo statue. Again, something I'll probably never use. But do remember, if you're struggling on a boss fight, I would save it, though, for certain ones. The owl or the final boss fight. Jump on there, and then the lump of fat wax. So the dragon's droplet is to cure dragon rot, which we're not particularly bothered about. Jump across, jump across, and when you are ready, uh, you don't need to do a backup save for this one. Uh, you may want to because you might run out of Gaichin sugar if you have to use it quite a few times. Uh, but you should be fine. There's no threat, really. There's a tiny bit of threat. So it's the the folding screen monkeys. As soon as you go through the cutscene, you're going to get a bell. This bell, uh, I'm not going to use it, but it resets the puzzle, as it were. That will make more sense in a moment. So I'm not going to use it, but you can put it in your quick select and use it if and when you need it. As soon as it starts, turn around, and there's a folding monkey here. Kill it, and that is one of four down. So every time you reset using that bell, it puts all the monkeys in their starting place, uh, but it doesn't bring back the dead ones. So don't be afraid to use it if you're struggling, if the monkeys are running away from what, away from you, what have you. Uh, I've just jumped up here. You can see there's one that is banging a gong and messing about. If you just hide here, they'll all diagro, and you will see him jump back up again in a moment. Where are you? He will jump across. Trust me, there he is. Uh, and now we're just going to stealth kill him. So he's like the alarm monkey. He wait, uh, makes them all, all the, all the others aware. So slowly, slowly, just wait for it, and then uh, get the kill. Again, if he's not appearing, then do reset using that bell. So next, we're going to use some Gaichin's sugar. There's another one there, the green one, in the middle of that tree. You do need to be quick with this one. This is why Gaichin sugar might burn through it. Uh, take one and then quickly uh, pull yourself across, uh, jump across, and then start slashing at where he is to uh, to kill him. The reason we're doing this, uh, I probably moved a bit too quick to be honest, but uh, creep towards the edge and then pull yourself across and then start slashing at him. Try and lock on as quickly as possible and slash. Now this is the point you'll probably re resetting. If you mess that up, he runs away. Is a bit of a pain. Just use that bell, the elusive bell in your inventory to uh, to reset and try again. And then the fourth one, the fourth and final one, if you come this way, he's going to run away in a certain place, which is good. This is the only threat, these illusionary monkeys here. You can just ignore them, though. Keep running up here. 
jump up here, jump up there. There's the fourth monkey. Kill him. So that's why I wasn't bothered about using the bell because it's it's quite an easy path once you know how to do this. It's it's very it's pretty simple. And yeah, that is a major boss as well, so you will get the trophy folding screen monkeys. And once this finishes, you will be taken to a brand new place. So you'll get their memory, which is uh, good because it means our attack power is going to go up. It should, yeah, here we go. So we've got the, the memory of the screen monkeys and the puppeteer ninjutsu, which is what we're going to use later on. So you can switch that instead of the uh, the cloud of blood. Now you can switch that in your, your menu to the puppeteer and once you stealth kill somebody it will make them fight for you. Um, honestly I'd just kill them. <laughs> uh, it's very niche places where we're going to use that to be honest. Uh, yeah, use the folding screen memory and then come in here and speak to this girl and she will ask you if you want the mortal blade. Say I do. And then you will touch it and die during a cutscene because the mortal blade kills anybody who touches it. And it also kills immortal people. And that's the whole point of this. In a way. Because we have the dragon's heritage. It's all very deep. <laughs> but that's what we came for, the mortal blade. If you keep talking to this girl, this one is a girl, isn't it? It's quite hard to tell sometimes. Um, then she will give you some rice. Just do that for now. Go through the dialogue, grab the rice. And this is a healing item that you can use. That is really, actually really good. Um, and you can only carry one. So once you've used it, it's like a spare healing item. That's, it's, it's really quite good in, uh, in certain boss fights. You may want to have that ready. Uh, you can only carry one, but you can always come back here and get an, uh, another one whenever you have used the previous one. So I'm going to go back to the dilapidated temple. We're going to do a bit of upgrading here. Finishing off now on this video. So loaded spear thrust uh, is going to be something we, we want. So the couple of loaded spears uh, I'm going to do... Uh, the R2, the drag one, we're going to be using in a fight... The infamous, the most infamous fight in this game, I reckon. Uh, yeah, just whenever you can upgrade, just come and upgrade some. I think I can do some more, but I'm just down on uh, on cash at this point, so I'll leave them for now. But uh, do the spear. We do have the shield and things like that. I don't, I don't really use the shield. It is good against certain ones, but uh, more about just rushing in and doing damage, really. <laughs> So once we've done that, we will go to Kuro's room, just quickly speak to him, and that is where we're going to leave this video. So go to the top of Ashner Castle, go speak to Kuro, just the once, let him finish his dialogue, and uh, yeah, that's going to be it. I'm just going to go over to the idol in the corner, and that's where we'll pick it up in the next one. So, thanks very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.